क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकिडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर उदय भोकरे एंड नाउ आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑन योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल ई केड़ा होप यू आर वाचिंग माय वीडियोस रेगुलरली एंड गेटिंग बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दैट फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फॉर सी इंटर कोर्स एडवांस अकाउंटेंसी सब्जेक्ट टॉपिक नेम लिक्विडेशन ऑफ कंपनी क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स In a liquidation which commenced on 2nd April 2017, certain creditors could not receive the payment out of the realization of the assets and out of the contributions from A-list contributors. The following are the details of certain transfers which took place in 2016 and 2017. Shareholder X, number of shares transferred at the date of ceasing to be a member, 1500. date of ceasing to be a member 1st of march 16 creditors remaining unpaid and outstanding on that date was 4000 importantly we begin our liquidation on 2nd april 2017 as per the rule list b contributors will include only those transferer who have transferred their shares within a year before the date of liquidation means considering this date ट्रांसफर शुड हैव टेकन प्लेस बिटवीन थर्ड एप्रिल सिक्सटीन टू सेकेंड ऑफ एप्रिल टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो हियर योर ट्रांसफर टूक प्लेस ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन देर फोर मिस्टर एक्स कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड एज अ लिस्ट बी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटरी ही विल नॉट बी काउंटेड बिकॉज ही हैज ट्रांसफर्ड शेयर अर्लियर टू दैट जो अपना टाइम लिमिट है उससे पहले उसने शेयर क्या किया था सर ट्रांसफर किया था सो लिस्ट बी में एक्स को हम लोग काउंट नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज वो अपने क्राइटेरिया में बैठता नहीं है जिसके लिए मैं आपको नोट लिख के देने वाला हूं ए ट्रांसफर्ड 1000 शेयर्स उसने कब ट्रांसफर किया फर्स्ट मे 16 एंड इज दैट विद इन आवर लिमिट यस सर योर शेयर्स मस्ट हैव ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम थर्ड अप्रिल 16 टू सेकेंड ऑफ अप्रिल सेवनटीन तक तो आई कैन से इट इज कवर्ड so he is a list b contributor how much amount of liability was outstanding at that point of time 6000 he will not bear a will not bear any liability which took place after this date a will bear only that liability which was outstanding on 1st of may 2016 which was your date of transfer us time pe amount kitna tha sir 6000 Mr B transferred 1500 shares on 1st July 16 at that time liability has increased to 7500 beyond that whatever amount occurred as a liability A will not share the liability A has already transferred his shares on 1st May he is not responsible for any liability which took place after 1st May C the another shareholder he transferred 300 shares on 1st November 16 so he is liable to pay the amount which was outstanding on that date 8000 but here a and b will not share a and b will not share because they already transferred their shares additional liability they will not share similarly d who have transferred 200 shares on 1st february 2017 and at that time my liability has become 9500 so you can notice your liability on that day has started increasing to so, jab ए ने शेयर्स ट्रांसफर किया था उस टाइम पे ये चारों के चारे शेयर होल्डर्स थे सो दे ऑल विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ लिस्ट बी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर जब ए ने ट्रांसफर किया था तो सिक्स थाउजेंड विल बी शेयर बाय ऑल फोर बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ देम वेयर शेयर होल्डर ऑन द डेट फर्स्ट ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन राइट देयर आफ्टर लाइब्रेटी हैज इंक्रीज बाई वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हियर सो इन दिस वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ए विल नॉट शेयर बट हु विल शेयर ओनली बी सी एंड डी After that, seven thousand five hundred has become eight thousand. Here, A and B will not share. Who will share? Only C and D. Thereafter, liability has been become nine thousand five hundred. So, additional one thousand five hundred, A B C will not bear. Who will bear? Only last uh, uh, shareholder. Who will bear? Who will bear? Only the last transferer, who was Mr. D. So, student, here we need to decide how much liability that individual shareholder will bear. Now, let us see what they have given you further in the paragraph. All the shares were of rupees ten each and rupees six paid up. Means maximum call which is possible on that will be four rupees. Ignoring the expenses of and remuneration of to the liquidator etc., show the amount 
टू बी रियलाइज फ्रॉम द वेरियस पर्सन लिस्टेड अबाउ तो हम लोग को निकालना है कि इनके पास से हम लोग कितना अमाउंट रिकवर कर सकते हैं उसके लिए याद रखना वेन एवर आई ट्रांसफर द शेयर ऑन दैट डेट वॉट एवर लाइब्रेरी इज देयर आई एम रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दैट After I transferred my shares, if any liability increase, I am not responsible. So on that logic, we will divide. On particular day, if there are more than shareholder, on particular day to share the liability, if there are more than shareholder, more than on particular day to share the liability, if there are more than one transferer, they will share the liability in the ratio of the number of shares what they were holding. we will prepare a statement to decide how much amount we can recover from them so let us prepare the statement so students you can notice i prepared a statement showing the amount to be recovered from list b contributors in this statement in first column i have written name of transferer means the shareholder who transferred his shares to wo transferer ka naam yahan pe aayega next one is date of transfer which is relevant to decide how much liability to be shared creditors outstanding overall total creditors outstanding on the date of transfer in terms of rupees creditor amount to be shared see outstanding amount is different and amount to be shared will be different they will share only incremental liability they will share only difference of the liability so you have to keep in the mind list b contributors there are a b c and d why x is not included because he transferred his shares for more than 12 months before the date of liquidation to wo nahi count kiya jayega then i have written ratio to share the creditors amount you can notice when a transferred his shares 1000 shares on first may that time liability was 6000 so liability to be shared will be 6000 only when a transfer the share so student when a transfer the shares on this date liability amount was 6000 and liability to be share 6000 only how to share that we will decide let's write the next list b contributory next list b contributory is mr b who transferred his 1500 shares on 4 july and that time liability has become 7500 students you can notice B has transferred his shares on 172016 that time overall liability has become 7500 but sharing will be of only 1500 now ask me why in this increased amount A will not share anything A will not share anything it will not be shared by A because he already transferred his shares on 1st May and any liability arise after 1st May A is not responsible so who will be responsible any other transferer who transferred his shares after the date 1st May 2016 to yahan pe A nahi aayega because that time shareholder A was not there next underwriter is Mr C he transferred his shares on 1st November 16 number of shares he transferred is 3000 and on that day liability amount has become 8000 now student when a transferred his share that time a and b were not the shareholder so they are not responsible for any liability of this 500 a and b will not share because they already transferred their liabilities rather they already transferred their shares to some other party so they are not responsible for any liability which took place after the date of their relevant transfer let us see in the question d transferred how many shares 200 on 1st february and on that day my aggregate liability has become 9500 student d transferred his shares on 1st february 17 that time liability has become 9500 incremental liability from the earlier transfer is 1500 so here a b and c will not share the liability so liability to be shared is this amount your aggregate amount is this creditors outstanding but importantly common sense apply karo student you will share only that liability which was in existence when you transferred your shares you are not responsible for any liability which took place after you have transferred the shares so you are not responsible for that liability that's why jo liability aapke transfer ke date pe usko hi aapko share karna hai 
Now, how to share that? It will be shared in the ratio of number of shares they were holding. Now, let us see what is their ratio. 1000 shares, 1500 shares, 300 shares and 200 shares. Cannot I say 10 is to 15 is to 3 is to 2? If I remove two zeros. So, your ratio is here 10 is to 15 is to 3 is to 2. Right? In case of this line, I can notice A is no more shareholder. So, it will be shared by B, C and D and the ratio will be 15 is to 3 is to 2. Here B has removed his shareholdership. He has been removed from the shareholders membership. So, now thereafter B will not share. A and B both will not share rather. Who will share only C and D and the ratio is 3 is to 2. लास्टली ये जो 1500 रुपए हैं ये सिर्फ कौन शेयर करेगा डी इसका कोई रेशियो निकालने का कोशिश मत करो ठीक है सो वी विल डिवाइड दिस अमाउंट इन दिस रेशियो सो लेट मी राइट दैट सो द डिवीजन विल बी 2000 3000 600 एंड 400 इन दिस रेशियो आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस 6000 अमाउंट 1500 विल बी डिवाइडेड इन दिस रेशियो 15 इज टू 3 इज टू 2 सो स्टूडेंट 1500 इज डिवाइडेड इन द रेशियो 15 इज टू 3 इज टू 2 Find it will be divided in the ratio 3 is to 2, so it will be 300 and 200. 1500 will be shared only by D. Yahan pe koi ratio nahi because us time pe baki ke shareholder nikal chuke the. In this way, we have got that total liability to be shared. In this way, we will take a total. Student, I am writing maximum total liability to share. Let us take the total. Student, I have written maximum total liability to share. Total amount of liability to be shared is 9500 and individual due from the list B contributory is this. But I cannot ask them to pay for more than their unpaid amount on share. So maximum call which I can make on this I am writing. Maximum call possible at the rate of rupees 4 because they have mentioned that 6 rupees paid up. Tha. You can notice student here they gave you all the shares were 10 each and 6 paid up. So how much maximum call is possible? 4 rupees. Depending on the number of shares, 1000 at the rate of 4, A can pay maximum rupees 4000 to you. Based on number of shares, 1000 at the rate of 4, A can pay maximum 4000 rupees. Rather, he should pay maximum 4000. Considering number of shares held by B, 1500 at the rate of 4, he can pay maximum 6000. Considering number of shares 300 held by C, he can pay maximum at the rate of 4, which is 1200. Considering 200 shares at the rate of 4, D can pay maximum rupees 800. As per the rule, list B contributories are supposed to pay the amount of liability which was outstanding or their unpaid call, whichever is less. So here I need to decide what will be our actual amount to be collected. We have to decide which amount I should collect. Here, whichever is lower, basis pay, A will pay you 2000. Uska maximum payable, maximum amount, how much he can pay? He can pay maximum amount 4000. But how much was liability? Only 2000. So he will pay you only 2000, not 4000. Similarly, here B will pay whichever is lower, means B will pay 4125. C will pay whichever is lower, again 1125. And D will pay whichever is lower, means he will pay 800. So which amount he, they will pay, they will pay you whichever is lower. So based on that, I am writing the amount which are actually to be collected from them. So how much amount you can collect from your list B contributory 8050, which is the total of all these four amounts. So how much amount I am supposed to pay for liabilities? 9500. Out of that, how much amount I can pay them? 8050. So remaining liabilities cannot be satisfied because of the lack of money. So student, you can notice in this calculation, I cannot pay 1450 to my liability because as per the legal norms, I cannot ask my shareholders to pay more than this amount. So our liabilities cannot get paid to the extent of rupees 1450. In this way, we have decided how much amount to be collected from list B contributory. Before I close the lecture, I will give a note here. Why I am not considering X in this calculation? So, I will write a note in the later and see it in the So, student, you can notice, I have written a note here. Mr. X has paid 1450 to list B contributory. 
बिकॉज ही ट्रांसफर्ड हिज शेयर ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन विच वॉज मोर देन ट्वेल्व मंथ प्रायर टू द डेट ऑफ लिक्विडेशन एंड लिक्विडेशन डेट वॉज सेकेंड अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन स्टूडेंट दिस इजी एग्जाम्पल कैन कम इन योर एग्जाम फॉर अ मैक्म अमाउंट ऑफ एट मार्क्स so we have to just understand relevance of this easy question because difficult question to as it is will be difficult to you and easy questions will be actually your bank to score the marks so student i hope you have understood this solution still if there are any doubts please put in our comment box before i close the video i request you to subscribe our channel ekeda and also press bell icon for your latest notifications friend please please do share this link with your friends so that they can also get the benefit thank you for watching the video student god bless you